All right, we're at the Orlando Maker Fair, one of the biggest Maker Fairs on the eastern side of the country, maybe the whole country, I don't know. But we're gonna go talk to people and check stuff out. Come on. Wait, before we get started, just what exactly is a Maker Fair? A Maker Fair is a gathering of nerds that showcases innovative projects and the creative minds behind them. You know, people like us. The Maker Fair organization refers to these gatherings as celebrations. So a Maker Fair is really a celebration that features arts, crafts, engineering, science projects, and the do-it-yourself mindset. And as you might guess, since it's a celebration, it's fun. Another way to describe it is to just remember those old science fairs you used to have when you were in school. Everybody brought their stuff together and set up a table and you went by and looked at their things. Well, think of a Maker Fair as a science fair where everything works and it's all really cool. And there's robots. There are over 200 Maker Fairs around the world each year, probably one near you. I've linked the main Maker Fair website below, but here's a screenshot of the Maker Fairs happening worldwide around the time this video is made. There's a lot of weirdos like us out there. You should go check one out. But just in case you don't, we went to the Orlando Maker Fair and shot a little video. So you can kind of see what it's like, even if you're not there, you know, so you don't have to go, but you should. All right, celebration, nerds, technology, fun, robots, got it? All right, let's go. This is where you park. This is where you make really old phone calls. This is where you get attacked by dinosaurs. This is where you can buy t-shirts. This is where they race go-karts. And this is where you can join the Rebel Alliance. And this is where you can see killer robots. And this is where you see model trains. And this is where you see Lego art. And this is where you see stained glass. And this is where you screen print your own shirt. This is where you get cool electronics. And this is where, well, we know what this is. And this is where you 3D print. And this is where you 3D print. This is a frog. That's actually cool. They do a lot of 3D printing. This is where you get arc reactors. And this is where you meet new friends. And R2. Watch out, there are Decepticons around. This is where you get awesome cutting boards. This is also where you can join the Rebel Alliance. This is where you get tons of old school electronics. And this is where you see relics of a distant past. Not me, this stuff. This is where you see boats and other boats. And this is where you race, this is where you race belt sanders. And this is where the robots fight. We can't get in there. And this is where giants play video games. Food round, barbecue, Italian ice, deep fried Oreos, lemonade, fruit, Pizza, hibachi, Hawaiian shaved ice, fair food, lots, lots of things. to go inside this uh, maker space and talk to different makers and see what they make. Come on, let's go. What 
is your name and what do you make? So I'm Steve and this is the Mod Cube. Uh, we're just launching it here at Orlando Maker Faire for the first time. And what we have is a uh, cube that has uh, all north magnets on one side and all south on the other so that they'll attract uh, in any orientation. And we're just showing off different uh, uh, word scramble puzzles. So here's world capitals with Rome, Oslo, Lima, and Kiev. Uh, we've also got uh, color matching where instead of just like a Rubik's Cube matching the outside, you also match the inside colors. And so, uh, you know, this is not something I can solve in about 10 seconds. It takes a little bit longer, but, um, you know, kind of a range of easy to challenging puzzles uh, with the Mod Cube. So... There's the color match on the outside, and then you've also got every side uh, matching as well. Oh, dude! So awesome. Yeah. I really, I really hope this takes off. We're just showing it off and uh, hoping to launch it around the end of the year. Awesome! Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Can we Okay, what is your name and what do you make? I'm Dawn Rosner, the Glassy Geek. I do stained glass. Uh, basically what I do is I start with uh, a pattern called a cartoon and I cut the glass to shape to fit every piece. Uh, every piece is hand cut, it's ground on these grinders. Then I use copper foil around the edges and solder it together. Then I do patina or polish uh, depending on what kind of finish I want. And that's pretty much how you make stained glass. Thank you so much. and what do you make? So I'm Aiden St. John and I compete on the NASA Robotic Mining Competition. So I guess what I make is the robot to compete in that. Um, so it's not just me, it's a team of about 30 to 40 people. Um, and as the name implies, the idea is we build a robot that in theory could be sent to the moon or Mars to dig up icy regolith. And as the name implies of that, it has ice in it. So you can extract water and then get hydrogen and oxygen or just the water to drink it. Um, but it's intended to be a kind of autonomous robot that would allow the astronauts to stay in their habitat safe and let this go out and gather resources for it. Sweet, thank you so much! <laughs> to see other makers and what they do and all that cool stuff. If you want to check them out, check out the link in the description. We put all their contact information that they gave us on their business cards. Really cool people. I love it when people make things on their own. See you next year.